All right, to talk about regiochemistry in electrophilic aromatic substitution, to really get into the topic, you must talk about resonance and look at the stability of the intermediates that lead to the products. So I've sort of cheated here and I've actually drawn some of these processes out, but what I've shown are um, three different potential reactions on this benzene ring. So if the electrophile goes in the ortho position, we can uh, we form carbocation intermediates and we have three resonance forms for these carbocation intermediates. Let's number these. One, two, three. If the electrophile reacts at the metacarbon, then we can we get um, this intermediate, four, and it has two additional resonance forms. Numbers five and six, and that's to get to meta. And now let's show the para position. So if the para position attacks, we're going to break that double bond, attack that electrophile. We are going to get the electrophile at the para position. There's already a hydrogen there. We can't forget that. And this is now going to have multiple resonance forms. So we'll draw those, move that pi bond. Electrophile H, resonance, move that other pi bond. Um, H, electrophile. And these are the ones that lead to the para product. Now let's number these uh, 7, 8, 9. So these are the possible structures that we can generate as we consider uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution on a substituted benzene ring. So which of these structures are drawn in a way that highlights how the R group could stabilize or destabilize the, the charge, the positive charge in the structure? And it turns out there are two of them. Number one, pops out because the R group is right next to that positive charge. So if the R group is going to exert an effect on that positive charge, for better or worse, it's resonance form number one. The other one is resonance form number eight because again, we have the R group right next to that positive charge. It doesn't mean that it doesn't matter in the others, but these are the two that are most important. And so now you can see if the R group is an electron withdrawing group, we're going to stabilize structures 1 and 8. And what do you know? The structures 1 and 8 are on the pathway to the ortho on the right and the para products. So they are going to favor the ortho and para products. If R is an electron withdrawing group, then we're going to destabilize 1 and 8. That's going to make ortho and para less favorable. So it's not that meta is all that good with an electron withdrawing group, it's just that ortho and para are terrible. Meta wins by default. So that's how we use resonance to explain the regiochemical outcome of electrophilic aromatic substitutions onto aromatic rings that already have substituents.